Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool A Week. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, this week we're going to be taking a look at a manometer, guys. So if you don't know what a manometer is, it's some things I got to explain before we get into it. So with that being said, guys, I got this baby right here, which is a pilot a pilot gas valve right here as you can tell now you can find these babies on boilers uh furnaces water heaters uh heaters all around if you're in the hvac industry you know definitely know what this is if you're plumbing uh you definitely know what it is because you're going to be piping it in or connecting to it now with that being said guys you're always going to have an inlet and an outlet and if you cannot tell what an inlet and or, or an outlet or where they are located there's always going to be hints for it i know you probably can't see it let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit but right here it goes ahead and tells you your inlet and of course the outlet and down at the bottom you can see a little arrow there's always indicators to signify which way the flow is going towards the gas so also guys you're going to have your regulator on one side of the inlet so that way you can regulate it before it gets out to the outside if you cannot find no arrows or anything like that or you're going to have of course your incoming gas which hopefully you could identify if you cannot identify which one's your incoming gas or which one's your outgoing gas you probably shouldn't be messing with it and maybe you need a little more training before you jump into these this stuff right here so again guys you're gonna have your inlet and your outlet let me break this valve down a little bit more so let me go ahead and grab my allen keys real quick and of course uh the breakdown for this baby is going to be of course this is going to be our inlet side and if you're going to have an inlet pressure tap which is located right here as you can see my allen key right there i'm i'm opening it up and i'm going to go ahead and take it out right there you have an opening right here and that's going to be your incoming gas pressure and it's going to have a little tap that way it has a uh, pressure coming out of there and also you're going to have your regulator on this side which is this flathead flathead screw right here and let me go ahead and open it up for you and pull it out there you go and as you can see right there there's a phillips head right down there and right there you adjust your pressures now why are you going to want to adjust your pressures well you're going to have that you're going to want that beautiful blue flame that way you know that you have the max efficiency of of heat and your combustion is doing its proper mixing and burning properly and of course a blue flame is going to be hotter than a regular red orange flame and it's going to be just more efficient for it so you want to adjust it to make sure you have enough gas coming into it and you have the proper air going going into it as well now that's going to be your left side in the middle right here of course you're going to have your valve and this valve opens up your gas and of course closes it up for you that way nothing goes into whatever you're feeding the gas to and of course on the right side which is going to be our outlet in this case you're going to have your outlet pressure tap what a coincidence same name just outlet and of course you're going to have your pilot outlet so of course you have the tap right here and of course they're, these right here are going to be quarter quarter inch adapters brass right here and of like i said you're going to have your pilot connection right here that way whatever you're feeding to it this is your pilot tube it's going to come out and feed underneath that way your pilot's always burning and whenever the demand calls for heat uh, it goes ahead and turns on that burner and of, last but not least you're going to have your pilot adjustment screw which is this phillips head right here and if you go ahead and open it up it's going to be just the same as your regular adjustment screw and you're going to be able to adjust your pilot fire and of course your outlet pipe which of course inlet and outlet pipe which of course it's going to be your your half inch uh, diameter which is small little baby pipe so now that we have that stuff situated what is it that we're going to be using a manometer well that's what it's for guys your a manometer is going to be uh the measurements of what inches of water column and that's what we use to measure natural gas or uh the the btus going to whatever you're feeding to now of course you size up the pipe depending on how much if you have high or low pressure those are another subject we'll get into that later on or we'll take a look at that so the first item we're going to be taking a look at guys it's going to be this baby right here now this is going to be the yellow jacket 98060 gas pressure test that i went ahead and picked up now this is going to be a very simple gas test guys if you're beginning or you just need a manometer kit this is going to be a perfect kit and of course very affordable now it, let's go ahead it's 
another thing to note guys it is made in the usa so if you're a purchaser of just items made in the usa uh here you go this yellow jacket is going to be made in the usa but it's only meant for low pressures so of course this is going to be the baby right here it comes in a nice little case that way you don't damage it and keep in mind these are very sensitive so make sure you don't drop them so that's one thing and of course you're gonna have your two and a half inch thigh diaphragm gauge right here let's go ahead and pull this baby out so here we go guys this is going to be the diaphragm gauge right here or your manometer that you're going to come with and of course you're going to have a two and a half inch gauge right here and you're going to come with a three foot hose that extends right there and also in the end of the hose you're going to get a tube nipple at the end of the hose which adjusts right there as you can see let me see if i could zoom in just a tad bit and right there so if you want to connect it right there or whatever you want to connect it and last but not least the last item that you're going to come with this baby is going to be the quarter inch male adapter by quarter inch barb fitting that way you could connect it to your hose and of course a white quarter inch well like i said these babies were going to be quarter inch you're going to connect it to your inlet and then once you have your inlet pressure you're going to connect it to your outlet pressure and then you're going to get your differential your different your different pressures or your differential or your delta pressure at the end that way you know you have enough combustion coming in and also you're going to have enough combustion coming out so of course you're going to have to do two different readings that way you could uh take a look at it and get your final readings for it now that's the downfall about this manometer guys it's going to be low pressure and you could only access pressures from 0 to 10 water columns or 0 to 35 inches of water columns or last but not least the 0 to 20 ounces per square inches that this uh, baby right here is going to go ahead and measure. Now if you need something more advanced, something better or if you just want to step it up and go ahead and spend a little more money uh, than, this, than this right here then I would definitely, let me go ahead and set this baby down here. That way I don't damage it. I would definitely recommend getting this baby right here. Now this is going to be the Feel Peace SDMN5 dual port manometer, guys. So let's go ahead and open this baby up. And of course you're going to get two hoses. And I'll explain that in a bit. And of course you're going to get the same fittings. But you're going to have them, uh, two of them. And of course they're going to be half inch. And some a couple more adapters that it's going to come with. Just in case you want to connect some other things. So let me go ahead and slide this to the back now this is going to be the meter right here now this is a very nice meter guys as you can see right here field piece worked on it pretty good and it's going to come with a rubber boot to help protect it and uh, let me see as you can see right there it's just a nice little rubber protection that way in case you drop it or whatever it's going to have some protection now of course you are going to be uh, it, it is ba battery powered the only downfall that i saw on this it's going to be a nine volt battery which uh, i hardly carry any batteries at all but nine volts nonetheless it's a little more rarer so you have to carry one but it does last up to 200 hours one battery so uh field piece does the courtesy of produ providing you with one that way you could go ahead and get started on the job right away now of course it's gonna have a nice little magnetic holster right here that way you could connect it to your boiler furnace a uh, water heater uh uh, whatever heaters whatever the case is it's going to be anything metal it's going to be able to uh, catch it and you're going to be able to it's going to be able to hold on to it that way you're hands free and working on something else now let's go ahead and turn this baby on right here and you're going to hold down with hold down on the power off and on button let me see if you could see it right there so right here you're going to have your on and off button right there and of course you're going to have four different buttons and i'll walk you through them real quick so the first button that you're going to have up top is going to be the units button right here so this is going to be the units button and as you can see you go ahead and press it there's going to be four different modes on it now those modes are going to include inches of water column as you can see right here it's going to tell you inches in water columns let me see so the first one right here like i said it's going to be inches in water columns that it's going to and the ranges for this baby is going to be negative 60 to positive 60 inches of water column that it's going to read the next one's going to be the next one's going to be uh, negative and positive 1,500 millimeters of water column. Go ahead and swap it out real quick. And next, last, or next up, the, the third one's going to be negative 
negative to positive 150. So you're going to be able to have a range of negative 150 to 150 M bars or millibars on it. Or last, you're going to have plus or minus or negative 2 to positive 2 PSI on it, which is going to be the last one. Now, of course, you're going to have a zero button. That way it zeroes everything out for you and you're completely zeroed out on it. And then you're going to have a hold button. That way it holds down your highest uh, volume or your difference on it. And then after the zero button, the most important one, you're going to see that you have two ports right here. That's going to be two different entries. You're going to be able to, to connect your inlet right here. As you can see, you're going to be able to connect your inlet and your outlet on this baby right here. And once you have them both connected, you're connected to your meter up here. And once you're going to have P1 is going to be your inlet, of course, and P2 is going to be your outlet. So that's going to be able to measure both pressures at the same time instead of having to go from one to the other. Now, with that being said, guys, it's going to make your job a lot faster. And also, it's going to give you your difference at the bottom. So uh, you're going to be able to switch off from P1, as you can see the arrow on this side, to P2, which is your outlet that it's going to give you. And it's going to give you your your pressure and at the bottom is going to give you your difference of pressure so let's say you have p1 at 10 and p2 at 5 then your differential pressure is going to be 5 and it's going to show you your pressure difference on it or your delta so for all you that don't know uh, the difference is just going to be your differential which also differential stands for delta so you're going to have a delta of 5 psi or 5 uh, inches of water column that's going to be your delta differential so just sounding a little smart helps you out in the work in the field and also makes you you know feel like you have a suit on or something i guess but anyways guys the total price for this baby is going to run you about 136 dollars and 98 cents now why would you want two ports on this or the measurements for it well this one's going to be able to measure your blower pressure your return and supply air your gas pressures of course or your static pressures which if you're in the hvac industries these are very important that way you could solve what's going on with the ac unit or furnace whatever the case is guys so that's gonna be it for this week guys let me know what you what you think in the comments below and as always guys thank you all for subscribing to the channel it seems to be growing every day more and more and of course every 1000 subscribers i try i try or i am so far giving away a veto pro pack backpack so like I said, guys, uh, the way to win is commenting, uh, liking, and watching my videos. Sometimes I throw in some stuff here and there or some small giveaways that I don't announce. So always stay tuned and watch the videos. And also pay attention to the commentary at the bottom. Sometimes I throw in some little hints here and there. But as always, guys, thank you all for watching. One tool a week, guys.